Jean-Baptiste Joseph Chevalier de Lambry was a French mathematician and astronomer. He was also director of the Paris Observatory, and author of well-known books on the history of astronomy from ancient times to the 18th century. Biography After a childhood fever, he suffered from very sensitive eyes, and believed that he would soon go blind. For fear of losing his ability to read, he devoured any book available and trained his memory. He thus immersed himself in Greek and Latin literature, acquired the ability to recall entire pages verbatim weeks after reading them, became fluent in Italian, English and German and even published Regals A Methodes Faciles pour apprendre la langue anglaise. D'Alembers quickly achieved success in his career in astronomy, such that in 1788, he was elected a foreign member of the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences. In 1790, in order to establish a universally accepted foundation for the definition of measures, the National Constituent Assembly asked the French Academy of Sciences to introduce a new unit of measurement. The academics decided on the meter, defined as one ten millionth of the distance from the North Pole to the equator, and prepared to organize an expedition to measure the length of the meridian arc between Dunkirk and Barcelona. This portion of the meridian, which also passes through Paris, was to serve as the basis for the length of the quarter meridian, connecting the North Pole with the equator. In April 1791, the Academy's Metric Commission confided this mission to John Dominique de Cassini, Adrien Marie Legendre and Pierre Mechain. Cassini was chosen to head the northern expedition but, as a royalist, he refused to serve under the revolutionary government after the arrest of King Louis XVI on his flight to Varennes. On 15 February 1792, de Lambry was elected unanimously a member of the French Academy of Sciences and in May 1792, after Cassini's final refusal, was placed in charge of the northern expedition, measuring the meridian from Dunkirk to Rhodes. Pierre Mechain headed the southern expedition, measuring from Barcelona to Rhodes. The measurements were finished in 1798. The gathered data were presented to an international conference of savants in Paris the following year. In 1801, First Consul Napoleon Bonaparte took the presidency of the French Academy of Sciences and appointed de Lambry its permanent secretary for the mathematical sciences a post he held until his death. After Mechain's death in 1804, he was appointed director of the Paris Observatory. He was also professor of astronomy at the Collège de France. The same year he married Elisabeth Agla et Leblanc de Pommard, a widow with whom he had lived already for a long time. Her son, Achille C. E. Acute S. A. R. Charles de Pommard assisted de Lambry on several occasions in his astronomical and geodetical surveys, notably the measuring of the baselines for the Meridian Survey, and the latitude definition for Paris in December 1799 which was presented to the Conference of Savants. De Lambry was one of the first astronomers to derive astronomical equations from analytical formulas, was the author of De Lambre's Analogies and, after the age of 70, also the author of works on the history of astronomy like the Histoire de l'Astronomie. He was a knight of the Order of Saint Michael and of the Legend on Earth. His name is also one of the 72 names inscribed on the Eiffel Tower. He was elected a foreign honorary member of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences in 1822. De Lambry died in 1822 and was interred in Père Lachaise Cemetery in Paris. The crater De Lambry on the Moon is named after him. Works Methodes Analytics pour la Determination d'un arc du Meridien. Notice historique sur M. Mechain, Lula 5 Messi d'Or 13. Base du système métrique décimal, au mesure de l'arc du Meridien, comprise entre les parallèles de Dunkirk à Barcelone. Exécuté en 1792 AANNE acutes sur Avantis par MM. Mechain et de Lambre. 
Rapport historique sur la progrès des sciences may de 1799, a history of astronomy, comprising four works and six volumes in all. Histoire de l'astronomie ancienne, Paris, MMEV Coursier, 1817. Two volumes, Volume 1, LXXII, 556 pp, One Folded Plate, Volume 2, VIII, 639 pp, One, 16 Folded Plates, OCLC 490232972, Reprinted by New York and London. Johnson Reprint Corporation, 1965, with a new preface by Otto Neugbauer, OCLC 648488, text online, volume, 1, volume, 2, Histoire de l'Astronomie du Moyen-Age, Paris, MMEV Coursier, 1819, LXXXIV, 640 pp, 17 folded plates, OCLC 490233042, reprinted by New York and London. Johnson Reprint Corporation, 1965, OCLC 647834, also reprinted by Paris, J. Gabe, 2006. OCLC 494627038, text online, Histoire de l'Astronomie Moderne, Paris, MMEV Coursier, 1821, two volumes, volume, 1, LXXXII, 715 pp, 1, nine folded plates, volume, 2, 4, 804 pp, 8 folded plates, OCLC 490233154, reprinted by New York and London, Johnson Reprint Corporation, 1969, with a new introduction and tables of contents by I. Bernard Cohen, OCLC 647838. Also reprinted by Paris, Editions Jacques Gabet, 2006, OCLC 493,779,358. This takes the history to the 17th century. Text online, both volumes, with usable plates, volume, 1, volume, 2, Histoire de l'Astronomie au Dixhuitima Cycli, edited by Claude-Louis Mathieu, Paris, Bachelier, 1827, LII, 796 p, 3 folded plates, OCLC 490,233,264 reprinted by Paris, J. Gabe, 2004, OCLC 470,502,171. This includes the history of astronomy in the 18th century, especially critiques of his colleagues at the Academy, which he withheld to be published posthumously. Text online, with usable plates. Grandeur et figure de la terre, ouvrage augmenté de notes, Descartes, 